their India plant almost 10 years ago. Um, and they have another one. I forget where the other one's at right now. But anyway, uh, and that's to avoid, you know, tariffs. A lot of countries have protective tariffs. Everyone goes nuts when the United States does it. But um, they then, those countries can then again turn around and tariff us. One thing that uh, President Trump is trying to solve, but the Harley plant, if they do decide to build it in Europe, will sell Harley Davidson to the European market. They're not going to build a streetlight special in the UK or wherever and then um, sell that UK to you or me who lives in the Midwest of the United States. That's not what their plan is. Uh, they're acting like a global company. And that's basically the crux of it. I mean, regardless of how you feel, and I, I try not to get about talk about politics on my YouTube channel, but regardless of how you feel about Donald Trump, he's, in this particular case, um, he's wrong. It's, um, I think he may be got overzealous and started sending out tweets before he knew the facts of the situation. And, you know, they closed, they're closing that Kansas City plant, which it is still open as of today. Um, but they're closing that plant. It was scheduled to be closed. I mean, Harley sales are down over the past 10 years, maybe 20%. And that plant was largely responsible for V-Rods and Dynas, and neither the V-Rod or Dyna are being made anymore, so it makes sense to just close that plant. I mean, if Harley was selling more bikes, um, they'd probably retool that plant to sell the new Softails. I think the old Softails were sold there, too, or made there, too, um, but that's just not the case anymore. Um, reason Harley sales are down, you know, it's debatable. Um, the motorcycle industry in and of itself is down significantly, significantly from where it was 10 years ago. Uh, and some of it with Harley specifically has to do, let's be honest, with India. Uh, there's a lot of people who have switched from a Harley to an Indian. Um, are Indians better than Harleys? Well, I mean, there are certain things about Indians that are better than Harleys. I'm not going to say overall one's better than the other. I think it basically boils down to which features on each manufacturer that are better are the ones that most appeal to you. Um, one of the things that appeals to a lot of people about Indian. You know, if you look at the Roadmaster versus the Ultra Limited, the Roadmaster has a lot of features on it that the Ultra, Ultra Limited just doesn't have, or that you can't get unless you upgrade to a CVO. Plus, it's it's new. Um, there's not a lot of them out there. Well, that's changing quickly, and people want something new. You know, they just want to give something else a try. For so long, Harley Davidson was the only American motorcycle manufacturer that was you know, truly an American company, and now there's another one, so people want to give it a shot, but regardless of all that, you know, Harley sales are down, um, and when manufacturers' sales are down for an extended period of time, they end up idling or closing plants, and that's what they did. This whole opening a market, or opening a uh, plant in Europe, I think it mainly has to do with globalization and tariffs. Um, so, I mean, that's just my two cents. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, but it's been made a big deal, so I just wanted to chime in on it. So, I hope everyone has a good day, a good weekend. This is Richard Ryder, and I'll talk.